Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Um, on the bench today I've been building a uh, dim bulb tester uh, which allows you to actually start up uh, TVs that might have a short without actually popping uh, components in them and, and many other devices as well and the principle is is you actually have your live and your neutral coming in uh, and it goes through a bulb which is that uh, and it then goes to the socket here in series and then back out to the mains and what this switch does is it actually bypasses the bulb so in that mode there uh, it's actually bypassing the bulb and the all the electrons flow through there and into the socket and then back out if it's on load um, the only way the electrons can get from that side to that side is through the bulb so it go, basically goes through the bulb there and you have uh, a number of uh, different wattages of bulbs. Uh, these are uh, the old-fashioned incandescent bulbs. You shouldn't use LED ones. They're absolutely useless. So the bulbs are resistors. So you can actually plug in uh, a 40-watt bulb here. Um, and then you can put your load on here. And it will limit the current uh, and uh, to 40 watts. Or it will add a resistance in um, to it. So you, if you've got a hard short... Uh, or uh, you're trying to uh, reform capacitors, you can limit the current which goes to the device. Um, and you can then switch it on and off and bypass it as you need to. Um, you might have seen it in my videos where uh, I have my dim bulb tester up there. Uh, and again, I can um, hit the load here and then that light will start glowing and it will then uh, increase and decrease in intensity as depending on how much current is being pulled by the device. Um, I've also got an, um, an isolation transformer here. Um, so I actually run the dim bulb tester through uh, with the isolation transformer. Uh, so I can actually um, uh, sort of manage when I'm working on stuff like this, which is still causing me problems. Uh, something I'm working on. So yeah, it's uh, it's a very useful thing to stop uh, blowing up uh, components. So yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, what's this one? This is the 100 watt, so I can plug it in like that. Uh, I can then switch on. I run through mine through an RCD, like that. So it's now live. Um, I can then plug a uh, the TV, that TV in. Um, and uh, I can either have it on mains, bypass, or load. So if I do load, and I switch the television on, there we go. It's actually, that's pretty much the degauss are pulling as much current as it can through that bulb. Um, so, yeah, and as the degauss starts to uh, dissipate, or the, um, the degauss uh, comes out of circuit, that should slowly, it should might take a little while, might take a little while and that will slowly dim and then the tv will start up and as you can see the tv is trying to start up and i think it has actually just started up uh, but it's going to be a very dim uh, picture so again if i do bypass it will then go full power so the switch basically shorts out the bulb so i've just had to turn the uh, lights off because this thing has got problems here so, okay, um, so if I put it onto load, can you see the TV is struggling to actually start up? Um, because it, this is drawing more current away from that. So it is very, very useful. So if we just do that, it might start back up again. I might have to actually reset it. The microcontroller in there might actually be freaking out. There we go. So yeah, uh, that's really what the uh, the dim bulb does. Is it 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 just limits the amount of current going to the device, and if there's a hard short or capacitors are reforming, uh, then it will limit the amount of current that goes to it, um, and that's the key thing. And it actually stops you blowing up TVs when, especially when they're cold and old and they've not been run and the capacitors need reforming. Let me just turn the light on. So yeah, so it's it's a very very useful. Let's just turn it off. A very very useful um, 
uh, piece of kit. Uh, again, uh, I've put a message on here, warning, bulb socket live when empty. Uh, maximum 300 watts load on the sockets. That's just a safety margin. And use an RCD, which is what I'm doing right here. I'm using an RCD um, to supply mains power to dim bulb tester. And I've put a little circuit on there for them. Uh, mains bypass, load, and so on. So yeah, it's, it's mounted on a board and that can then be basically screwed onto wherever. Um, and I, I think I'll give them a bulb, uh, a 100 watt bulb, just to help them start. So yes, this is going to go to uh, the We Love CRT guys, uh, David and his team, to try and help him with all the TVs he's, uh, he's dealing with. I think he's popped a few TVs where they've actually uh, it's blown up the capacitors uh, or blown up other components where the capacitors are drawing so much current while they're reforming. So this will help them in um, their quest to resurrect old TVs. So thanks for watching. This is just a very short video about this. This is going to go with them uh, probably this week when I go. I might be going Thursday uh, and taking back some of the uh, TVs I've repaired for them. Uh, and yeah, and this and they've just literally got so many TVs to go through. So this is going to be a, a, a valuable bit of kit for them. So thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.